you guys what is up it is i the concrete catwalk those of you who are new to my channel welcome i love all things thrift vintage new nearly new estate sailing sailing you name it i love it too much catwalkers Mwah. welcome back to a new video this sunday those of you who are newly subscribed thank you so much for coming along together on this journey there are a couple things that i want to announced some things that I want to share with you about my personal style in getting dressed. But before we even get into that, I love all of the questions that you guys pose to me. We are going to sit and have a chat about those. There are a couple of requests for Chanel bags that I have. Also, I want to just say thank you to those persons who've asked those questions. We are going to sit down and we're going to have a discussion about that. That brings me to my Poshmark closet. There is one special listing that went up and I am doing it on behalf of a fabulous person that I have had the opportunity of meeting and getting to know. She's incredible. She is a mom of two. She is a professional. She knows what she likes. Well, that brings us to the listing. She has a beautiful light blue Chanel boy medium flat bag that she purchased for herself last year and has never carried. And so she decided that she would like the bag to go up for sale. She asked if I would list the bag for her. It is a fantastic light blue, never carried pristine condition Chanel boy bag with silver hardware incredible incredible piece hard to find color the plastics and everything on the hardware is still there it has not been taken off you will be getting the box the tissue paper it is a fantastic bag and i encourage you to please go and check out the listing the other thing that i want to share with you of an item that i think you guys may be interested in it is an address agenda book by coach this beauty is up for sale this is brand new the paperwork and everything is inside there is an address book in here this is about the medium size a little bit bigger than what you would get in a medium size Vuitton agenda this is all leather and it has a snakeskin border I'll hold it up so you can see but you might want to head on over there and check it out okay so you guys moving on personal style aesthetics that I find myself gravitating to, that is something that I always wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about how I get dressed and the way that I get dressed. And for me, there is a certain aesthetic that I definitely gravitate towards is Parisian chic. Now the word Parisian chic, I think everybody gets in their head about the uber cool French woman who's just able to pull it all together and it takes her all of five minutes. And I think everybody strives to want to be able to do that. I'm no different. There are certain ways that the French women do things and I just really appreciate it. And I have learned to incorporate that more and more in my ability to get dressed. I'm gonna lay some things out as far as what I choose to do to make that work for me. Obviously, I don't live in Paris. It would be great, but there are certain things that I pull from the way that they pull themselves together that I am finding makes it a lot more easy to get up and get out the door in the morning. The first thing that I have learned to do from this particular way of dressing to not reach for so much. When I wake up in the morning and I think about what it is that I am trying to accomplish with getting dressed, it is real simple. It is not to put so much effort in matching. It is not to put so much effort in an outfit where it becomes so overbearing and fussy throughout the course of the day because I, I, that's not how I live. My life is very fast paced with the business, with a full-time job, with some other things that are going on in the background. I need the flexibility to be able to put something on that is gonna take me from morning to afternoon, to the evening, if I decide I'm gonna meet some friends for dinner, whatever it may be. I need clothes that are gonna be able to do their part. That whole Parisian chic aesthetic addresses that. The second takeaway that I pull from how French women are able to get dressed is very little 
time to make up. It doesn't mean that it looks like it's undone. No, it looks very polished and put together. It's very soft. It's very easy. It looks as if you washed your face, you put on some moisturizer, you gave yourself a little bit of wake up, meaning a little bit of a light covering, some mascara, a little bit of lip, and you are done. I like that because when I was younger, and I'm gonna take it back there because I gotta get this point across to you guys. I spent so much time on the precision of things. Oh, it has to be this, it has to fit like this, the makeup has to look like this, the hair has to be very structured, it has to be that. I think we've all gone there. I think the more that you have to fight with trying to pull a look together, the more of a mess the look looks. Now, when I think about what I'm going to wear, I think about comfort, functionality, a type of look I'm going for. I am a big fan of like rock and roll chic, but I'm also a big fan of simplicity, a white shirt, a pair of black pants, simple white shoes. Stan Smith's run deep in my closet right now. I reach for them a whole lot. Also just simple, classic styles of whether it be sneakers or shoes. Loafers, I'm a big fan of. Chunky loafers, I'm a big fan of because regardless of whether it's a thick sole or a thin sole, I don't think you can ever go wrong with a loafer. I don't think you could ever go wrong with some type of a slide shoe. I will also say that in getting dressed, simpler colors mixed sometimes with a pop of color works really well together. If I'm thinking about a black pencil skirt, I may be thinking about a lace blouse to wear with that pencil skirt. It's all intuitive dressing, just like they talk about intuitive eating, I err on the side of intuitive dressing. I go in a direction of what I feel. Notice that region women do this a lot. Putting colors together, they don't go over three colors in an outfit. It may be white and black, but then you get a pop of color from the bag because the bag may be a burgundy color, or it may be a red, or it may be a camel color. It's never multiple colors thrown together where it looks too, too much, but done in a way where it is just oh so chic. And I'm gonna post up here and here pictures of people who just pull the look off because they are that. They just get it. It's like they get dressed, they just kind of know what works for them. And that is what I am always aspiring to. What works best for me? I'm not here to try and copycat a certain person's style. No, I want to take the style and incorporate it into what looks best for me. The third thing that I really like with Parisian dress is ease of how each item works well with each other. I don't like when you pull something out of your wardrobe and you have to figure it out. Does this look good? Is this the right color? Is this not the right color? If you find things that are strong in and of themselves, not just strong basics, but certain types of things that they are the center of attention and you just build around them with easy to utilize pieces with it and it makes the outfit look a lot more effortless, not try hard at all. There are plenty of people who pull off the look, but the look to me heavily balances on looking for things that are, are timeless, things that you're gonna be able to pull out of your wardrobe again and again and again, and you're never gonna have to worry about, is this gonna work, is this not gonna work? Which is why I rely heavily on just a white shirt. This is a men's white shirt that I picked up of all places, Walmart. Button ups, I could wear this like what I have on now, a pair of black, easy slacks, white sneakers, and then this white shirt, whatever bag that I choose to pick up in the background and get on the way out the door to start my day. It's encompassing an easy look with things that work well when they are put together. It's the little things that add up to what, to me, Parisian chic is all about. As far as my personal style and what has evolved, my entire look, I like to borrow from different things. The attention is on 
more or less the outfit and it's not on the hair and all those other things. It's the same thing when it comes to nail color. I usually fall in the realm of the oranges, reds, pinks, or black, or dark navy. They are timeless in and of themselves. I also take that across the board when I'm thinking about jewelry choices and things that I'm going to wear. I have some pieces that I have had forever. I have a couple of Tiffany pieces that I've started to reach for again. A good example is this return to Tiffany ring. I have had this ring since 2000. I'm shocked it still fits, but it fits. But it's just so easy and it's so simple and it is something that will just go a long way as far as if I want to wear one piece of jewelry and it's a signature piece would be this ring. My style evolution has really fallen harder on that side of, I am not the type of girl who's into all that fussy stuff. I, I like to be able to look great, easy, effortlessly, and unproblematically. Some other people have a different type of a style and that works too. I think we all can agree that everybody who picks a certain path to go down it is what you embrace and that is what makes you uniquely you and what your style is. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts. When it comes to your style aesthetic, what is it that you consider yourself? Are you Parisian chic? What is it that you pull from and draw from that defines your personal style? If you do not want to miss out on anything that I post, you know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Sunday, so if you do not want to miss out, tap that and you'll receive notifications each time I post a new video. Links to my socials will be listed in the description box below. Head on over to Poshmark. Like I said, I have new listings. I am the Concrete Catwalk on Poshmark. Head on over to IG. Feel free to DM me there. You can leave me messages there as well, just like you can on Poshmark if there's anything you see that you are interested in in my closet. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by this week. Be safe. See you all next Sunday. Bye for now.